Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the round, the troublemakers, the round pegs and the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may see them as crazy ones, we see genius. Because people who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. Ever feel like a misfit, a rebel, a square, a round peg in a square hole? I sure do. That was a quote by Jack Kerouac. And it's about you, it's about me, it's about all of us. What I like about the cannabis industry is there's a room for all of us crazies. Um, so anyway, <laughs> you know it's not like that everywhere. When I was 24 and just graduated from law school, and I had never really had a grown-up job before, I found myself working at one of the nation's largest, most prestigious law firms. And you know, quite soon I realized I didn't really fit in. I felt different. And I certainly did not agree with the status quo. It didn't help that I was probably one of the only female attorneys there, and the law libraries were filled with rooms with old white men in navy suits. Amidst the daily grind, the entrepreneurial daydreaming started. Within a year, I launched my first business working weekends and nights. My first business venture was called Smarties. It was a line of professional dolls, from Ashley the attorney to Emily the entrepreneur. At the time, Barbie filled the shelves at Toys R Us and Target, and I wanted to introduce to young girls a role model that focused on brains before beauty. Our black doll, Destiny the Doctor, wound up on Oprah's favorite things. Spoiler alert, I didn't end up selling out to Mattel for millions and millions of dollars like I had hoped. But I did learn some really valuable lessons. For one, I learned that I had the power to bring my dreams to reality. I also learned the power and importance of differentiation because that's what I had failed to do at Smarties. You see, I made the dolls 12 inches high because that's what was required for the shelf space and I literally did not think far enough out of the box. I made them the same size as Barbie because that's what I thought I had to do. And guess what happened? The internet. So fitting on the shelf no longer mattered. I mean, if I had dared to be more different, if I had dared to step out of the box and really reject the status quo, I think my dolls might have been able to compete with the multi-million dollar marketing budget of Mattel by just being that different. And so here's my first piece of advice to you. Be true to yourself. E.E. E. Cummings once said, to be nobody but yourself, in a world that's doing its best to make you somebody else is to fight the hardest battle you are ever going to fight. Never stop fighting. And that's another thing that drew me to the cannabis industry. We are all welcome here. Look around. Have you ever seen such a diverse crowd? We are all different. And amen to that. <laughs> the other thing is, the other thing that drew me to the cannabis industry is you all are so collaborative. But I fear that that might be slipping away. I've lived through the greed of the dot-com bubble and the housing bubble, and I've seen it firsthand. I worked for a tech company as in-house counsel, and we used to joke about how we would say that the venture capitalist would step over his dead grandma for a greenback. Seriously, those people are really scared. And the other thing is that uh, in the presence of the federal government and the IRS and 
Big Pharma, and Wall Street, our survival depends upon our collaboration. We need to stay connected to one another. So this is my second piece of advice to you. Work together. If you want to keep the authenticity, diversity, and openness of the cannabis industry, then we all need to work together. The great thing about the cannabis industry is that there's room for us to all celebrate our differences, but come together for the greater good of the industry. Together, we can have an impact on the future of the industry. Alone, not so much. Legalization has brought some very unique, sophisticated, and expensive challenges. Cannabis entrepreneurs don't want to be steamrolled by corporate America, and then also, you don't want to be arrested by the federal government. So I, I also, aside from the doll company, I started a company called Lava Love, and it was a, a line of clay bath products made from the volcanic ash from our Oregon volcanoes. So I've walked that tightrope of like trying to make each dollar count and competing in markets where there were corporate interests, as well at the same time trying to comply with regulations. And I understand how challenging and difficult it can be. Sometimes it just feels impossible. But that's what we do. As an entrepreneur, I'm constantly making decisions like whether to hire someone as an employee or an independent contractor and to spend money on getting into compliance with state regulations like OSHA and workers' comp and OLCC regulations and OHA and OMP, OMMP, QRS, TUV, WX, Y, and Z. No, I get it. <laughs> There are threats all around us. So my third piece of advice to you is start right now establishing a legitimate business. How do you do this? Take advantage of all of the OLCC free workshops. Sign up for every free webinar and training that you can get your hands on. And then document, document, document policies and procedures so you don't have to recreate the wheel. And if you don't know something that consult a professional. For example, if you're dealing with 280E issues as a cannabis company, talk to an accountant who understands the industry and who understands your business. Our challenge, is a challenge as an industry is to learn and grow and develop best practices for the industry as we go forward and also not lose what's special about it along the way. We are on an incredible journey and oh, what a long, strange trip it's been. Yeah. <laughs> so as you go forward, remember three things. One, be true to yourself. Two, work together. And three, make your business legit. I really appreciate and really grateful for the opportunity to have to come speak to you guys tonight. I know how hard all of you work. And uh, just keep fighting for what's yours. Thank you.